We are your community station and we're working very hard to build bridges in our communities. And this morning we celebrate the start of Rosh Hashanah. It's the two day celebration marking the start of the Jewish New Year. It's filled with cultural traditions and so many deep meanings. And joining us this morning in studio are Rabbis Moshe and Yosef Langer with Chabad of SF to teach us more about this special holiday. Happy Rosh Hashanah to the two of you. Is it your off day today and you're coming in to work it's with a, us? This is a real on day, a real on day. <laughs> and you guys brought treats, so you know the key to our hearts here on the set. Tell us a little bit about the props that you brought or treats. This says wishing you a sweet new year. Well, well the, the biggest treat that we have today is that the almighty king himself comes out, of, out from his throne and comes and hangs with the people. That's you, me, all of us here, and all of you out there. Because otherwise, he's seeing people. He's busy all year. The king, any president, is very busy. But the king of kings wants to hear what we have to say and what we need for the coming year. So he's with us all, everybody. Everybody, we're going to have a good time today. That's what I understand. So, oh, And I'm sure you will. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the traditions and the celebrations. It starts tonight and extends all the way until Sunday. So yes. this year we're celebrating uh, 5,784 years since creation. And Rosh Hashanah is uh, the holiday that celebrates the new year. It's Rosh means head and Shana means year. And uh, we blow the shofar, which hopefully we're going to get the rally rabbi to blow the shofar. Yes. He, uh, shofar shall get it. He's, <laughs> he's been, <laughs> he's been uh, doing community work for almost 50 years, and he's the rabbi uh, for the Warriors and the Giants, and he blows the shofar every year at Jewish Heritage Night. And the symbolism behind the shofar is that it's a simple sound that is just kind of like a cry from the inner depths of a person to God, and God reciprocates with blessing us with a new year. Um, every, it's with a renewal, it like evokes a renewal of blessing and uh, wanna wish everybody a happy and healthy sweet year. We also have over here, honey cake. Why do we have honey cake? Because we give our friends, and I brought some here in the studio to, you. to leave you with so you. Uh, we give our friends and family uh, honey cakes. So they should internalize the sweetness and we should share it with our friends and family. I love it. And you know, we're at a, such a divisive time in our country. And something I love about Rosh Hashanah, it's a, it's a chance to wipe the slate mm -hmm. clean, to start over and to have community and connect community. Tell me why that is so fundamental, this new start and new connection, sharing the sweetness, so to speak. So we're God's children and uh, God gets the most pleasure like any parent when their children are happy. So the main thing is, is coming together over food, over prayer. Um, actually, the 10-day uh, the period culminates with Yom Kippur, which we're going to celebrate at the mm. Fairmont Hotel. And Kol Nidre. Exactly, Kol Nidre, yeah. the solemn prayer, where, where mm. that's actually where we mm. annul our, mm -hmm. our, uh, our promises and vows. And we're celebrating at the Fairmont, and we're honoring uh, Tony Bennett. Ah. Tony's daughter is going to join us, Antonia Bennett, and she'll give a talk about her uh, journey with her dad, and it should be very, very special. We're also hosting um, uh, two events in uh, Knob Hill and Soma for Rosh Hashanah tonight okay. and tomorrow, and Sunday we'll have the show for blowing at uh, our Chabad uh, Soma location and Knob Hill, but, you know, around the Bay Area there's uh, 70 locations of Chabad houses and many other synagogues. And you'll see uh, people blowing the shofar on Sunday in the streets. And uh, the main thing is to, the Lubavitcher Rebbe wanted us to, you know, many people are afraid of going into a synagogue. Uh, there's membership and there's uh, different inhibitors that, you know, and so we okay, go well. out into the streets and into the studio and blow the shofar with Rabbi Langer. <laughs> Starts, Rabbi. Thank you, you so much. Do you think you can bring that to the next Giants game because they need all the help they can it's get right now? And it's not a joke. We don't. When we blow through, throughout the year, the chauffeur is, brings alive creation. 
So it, we have fun with it, but there's some meaning some to the chauffeur. Meaning. Very powerful meaning. Yeah. My dad thank always brings the chauffeur to uh, the Giants games <laughs> and anywhere. So thank you so much for thank having you. us thank on. You. Really thank grateful. You. It's a pleasure. Yeah, of course. Enjoy your next Happy two days. Happy blessings to you and your families. And thank all, you all so your much. And I love your, your jacket, the Grateful Yid. <laughs> <laughs> As we